there are better and worse techniques to create wooden floor in v for SketchUp. This time I will focus on the best way to obtain photorealistic effects. In this video, I'll show you two methods of floor creation. First method is based on one plane and three different maps. Second method relies on multi-sub map and might be quite surprising. So stick around for that. I want to create a floor. To do this, I will use rectangle tool and create few rectangles. And then using eraser tool, I will delete the edges which are placed between the faces to obtain one large plane. Then I go to the push-pull tool, I click on the face and move it up by a few millimeters. It can be five millimeters. This is the thickness of the floor. I go to the scene one and this is my floor. For now it's white color, that's why I'll create a new material. I go to the asset editor, create assets, materials and create generic material. I will rename it to V-Ray Wood. This is my material. In the folder with maps, I prepared some files. Let's take a look. I prepared three files, which I will use in this floor. Firstly, I will upload floor diffuse map. I click on the texture slot, bitmap, and then choose floor diffuse. I open it, and this is my floor. I go to the previous asset, and I can apply this material to the floor. I click on the material and apply it to the floor. Let's see that this pattern is too slow, it's too repetitive, we need to change it. That's why I go to the right side, materials window, and here I have dimensions of the file. I will change it to 4000 millimeters. Let's say that I'm using millimeters units. If you are using centimeters, change the value to 400. I will change the direction of the floor, I click on the face, right click, Texture, Position. I want to rotate this texture, that's why I right click, rotate 90 degrees and the floor is rotated. Let's see the render. This is my floor with only diffuse map. I think that the image is too flat. We need to add some volume to the material and reflections. Firstly, I will focus on reflections, that's why I go to the asset editor and go to the reflection tab. Firstly, I will set reflection color. I will change the range from 0 to 255 and then change the reflection intensity. Let's see on the sample that the reflection is visible. I think that something around 130, 140 will be enough. And then I go to the reflection glossiness. For this, I prepare the texture. This is a black and white texture. I use this type of texture very often for reflection glossiness. And upload it over here. Okay, it's done. Let's check the render. And this is my render. Let's see that it looks much more realistic because we have visible reflections. We can compare these two renders. And on the left side, this is a render with diffuse tab only. And on the right side, this is a render with diffuse and reflections. We can see that the difference is huge. Okay, but what about the volume? We need to add BAMP map. I prepared this map. This is our BAMP map. I will use it. That's why I go to the V-Ray Asset Editor, BAMP tab. I expand this tab and upload the texture. I upload floor bump and change the intensity, the amount. It should be quite low value, something around 0.12. Let's see the effect. And this is my material with bump texture. Let's take a look. We can see the divisions between the panels and it looks very realistic. Let's compare this result with the previous one. And on the left side, this is material without bump. And on the right side, this is material with bump. I think that the difference is very visible. And in this way, we can create very realistic material with only two maps, diffuse reflection glossiness and bump map.
I will create a floor modeling each panel separately. That's why I click on this tool, come a little closer and create the first panel. So the dimension will be 1500 by 200 millimeters. And this is my panel. Then using push-pull tool, I create the thickness. The thickness is eight millimeters. Then I will create the bevel. To do this, I use push-pull tool again. Then I press control key and type two millimeters. Okay. And then I can move these edges to the right side by one millimeter here. To the left side and only one edge is left and in this way we have created bevel then I click three times right click and make group I will copy these panels I click move to press ctrl key and move it by 1500 millimeters and again I will copy this panel by 200 millimeters and I would like to move these panels by 20% from 1500 millimeters is 300 and again copy it. Okay, and do it multiple times. It's done. I would like to select the floor. Let's see that they are grouped separately. To group all the panels together, I need to hide other objects. That's why I right click on them and choose hide. I select them, right click and make group. I unhide all and then go to the scene. I go to the asset editor and create new material. Let's go to the folder and see the maps which I've prepared. Let's see that I have five different maps. Every panel is a little bit different. This is the same with reflection glossiness maps and normal maps. I would like to upload these five maps to the diffuse tab. I can do it using multi-sub map. I go to the asset editor, to the diffuse tab, click on the texture slot, and then choose multi-sub. Using multi-sub map, I can create multiple textures and apply it to group. Let's take a look. I create five textures. For now, they are only colors. And apply this material to the panels. Let's say that it's impossible to see the preview in SketchUp. We need to check it on render. That's why I go to the settings and turn on interactive render. I go to the materials and I change get ID from to random by render ID. And let's see that it looks very impressive because we can see that these five colors are applied to the objects randomly. Thanks to it, I will obtain very realistic effect. If you want to change it, you can go to the seed and change the number. For example, to two, and the location of the texture is changed. I change it to three, and let's see that it looks different. The seed value is a randomization of pattern. It looks fine. And now I will upload the textures. I click on the texture zero and upload the first bitmap. And I will do the same with other textures. I need to upload five textures. But as we can see, there is no preview in SketchUp and it's very difficult to see the results in SketchUp window. That's why I go to the previous assets, go to the binding tab and change the texture mode from auto to custom mode. In the texture position, I upload a diffuse map. It can be the first file. Let's see that this texture looks very bad on the floor. It's not mapped correctly. We need to change it. That's why I go to the right side and I know that my panel is 1500 by 200 millimeters. That's why I type these values here on the right side. I unlocked aspect ratio and change the values 1500 by 200 millimeters and the texture is mapped correctly. Let's see the result. Let's see that the effect looks very nice. We have five different panels and they are placed randomly on the floor. Let's create something better because we have no reflections in material. That's why I go to the asset editor and reflection tab. If I go to the folder, we can notice that I have one map for reflection specular. This is map for reflection colors and I have five different maps for reflection glossiness. 
That's why I upload this reflection color map over here. This is reflection specular map. I open it. And then I will create reflection glossiness using multi-sub map. To do it even faster, I will copy this map from this place. Right click, copy multi-sub map, and right click, paste as copy. The only thing to do is to replace diffuse map by reflection color maps. That's why I click on the texture slot and replace this map by reflection map one. And I do this five times. Okay, it's done. I go to the previous asset. We can notice some reflections on the sample and let's see the result. This is my new material with reflections. Let's see that the reflections looks very natural. If I compare these two materials, we can see the difference. Now the material with reflections looks much better. Okay, but what about the bump? We should add it. That's why I go to the bump tab. And again, I will copy reflection glossiness map and paste it to bump tab. Right click and paste as copy. And the only thing to do is to replace maps. So I replace them to normal maps. But remember that if you are uploading normal map, you need to change the color space from screen space to rendering space. If you are using V-Ray 6, everything in V-Ray 6 is set properly. If you are using V-Ray 5 or V-Ray Next, you need to change these settings. So I apply five different normal maps and change color space to rendering space. Okay, it's done. Then I go to the preview asset and change the mode map from bump map to normal map. I will say quite high value, amount will be one. Let's see the render. And this is our final effect, material with bump, reflections and diffuse using multi-sub map. I think that the result is very natural, very interesting, and we can compare this to floor. They are different, but I think that the effect is very satisfactory. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org with many SketchUp and V-Ray courses. See you soon. Bye.